Right, so today we are going to fit some Oxford hot grips to the VFR 800. Now I know there's been a million videos of people fitting heated grips to a bike, but it's December, I've got nothing else to do, so I might as well just make another video out of it. So we're all set up, we've got cameras in place, we've got my lighting rig, so we'll make a start. This is going to be a two part video. First part is going to be this heated grips. Second part is going to be with my new Gerbing heated gloves. And what I want to do is I want to do a comparison from the gloves to the heated grips. So what I'm going to do um, when I'm in the house and my body's at normal temperature, I want to take the temperature of the inside of my hand and the temperature of the outside of my hand. I then want to go out on the bike with normal gloves on, with the heated grips on, and then I want to see what the temperature of the inside of the hand is and what the temperature of the outside of the hand is when the outside of the hand has been exposed to the elements and then we'll do the same with the heated gloves on just so we can see the difference in temperature to the outside of the hand and we'll see which one works better but I think heated gloves and the heated grips I think it's a perfect combo so let's make a start Right, first things first, let's get the bar ends off and let's get these grips off, these old ones. That's one. That's two. Now, to be honest, these fitting heated grips are probably one of the easiest things you can do. Right. There's nothing complicated with it, to be honest. Right. Now, let's do this carefully. Just because I don't know what's underneath his grip. There should be nothing really, apart from the throttle, but you never know. There we go. That's one off. This one. There's not really a lot underneath it, so I should be able to just slice this one. That's both of them off. <clears throat> right, so let's have a look. Let's grab this camera. Let's have a look what we get in this kit. Right, so here's the kit. I've bought the Premium Sports because I prefer the grip of the Sports one. There's not a lot of difference between the Sport, the Adventure, and the two right i think just the adventure ones are slightly longer for the left bar there's our controller see they're all push fit so you can't even you can't even wire it in wrong and that's the one for the accelerator right Well, let's bring you back over here. Now that's already quite a snug fit. So 
So it comes with glue. Where's the glue? Let's put a decent amount on. Okay. So what we've got to check is we have enough clearance. So let's try the bar end. Let's see if we need to trim it down. Because you can, if you can see, you can just trim this end part. So let's see. Right, now as you can see on mine, the grip is sticking. So I'm going to need to trim that part off. See? It's sticking. Okay. Right, okay. That's trimmed. There we go. That's better. Let's have a closer look. So all I need to do now is route the cabling, but you need to have enough slack to allow you to turn. Okay. So now, let's get the other side on. Right, and then this one. Let's get some glue on. We need to get the bar end on there. But first things first, we need to get the seat off. We need access to the battery. Okay, yep, we won. Okay. So we are connected there. Let's wire it up to the controller. You sit there. So here's the controller. So that goes there. That goes there. And he says, that one goes there. Right, we have power. Let's put them on full and let's just see if they start to work. That's it, I can feel that one getting warm already. That one's getting warm. So we'll give them a few more minutes and we'll see how warm they are. See you in a bit. Oh, nice and hot. Yep, then we're working perfect. So they are working perfect. Those are absolutely red hot. It's also got this battery saving mode. So if you leave them on with the ignitions off, it will pick up 
the drain on the battery, I believe, and that will automatically power themselves off. That's it, off. So all I need to do now is just route the cables in. So let's get that done. So all we do now is screw the controller onto this mounting plate. So what I've done is I fitted it to both the bolts on the clutch lever. So that's it. I can still see my clutch fluid. Perfect. Right, so all we need to do now is just route, route these cables. All done. I've routed the wire round the back. I've come in underneath here. I've got enough turn both ways. All the connector block I've put behind this part. Then the cable's running under the tank. Down there to the battery. And that's as simple as it is. One block on that, one connector block on that, one connector block on that, and then straight to the battery. Levers are working, it's not in the way. I can still see my clutch fluid. And that's it. That's how you fit heated grips to a VFR 800, quite easy. So part two of this video is when we'll road test it and we'll also have the heated gloves and we'll do a bit of a comparison. So I'll see you on that next video.